My name is Rick Orman, and I am a proud Albertan and a proud conservative. I want to uh, announce today my candidacy for the leadership of the Progressive Conservative Party of Alberta, a party I have believed in and supported my entire life. Now with me here today, besides a lot of old friends, is my wife Susan and my son Sean, who is here with his wife Angela and his children. Bella, Charlize, and Lachlan. And uh, I, we have uh, four other members of our blended family that are not here. Uh, Kaylee and Riley, Adam and Quinn, they're not here. We live outside the province, but um, Susan and I are working on that. <laughs> my mother Doreen is here. Um, my mom was an early organizer for the Progressive Conservatives. She ran for us as a candidate in the nomination Thanks. in 1975 in, uh, in Calgary. And I would just like to begin by expressing my gratitude to my mother and my father for instilling in me a sense of service to community and for nurturing my progressive conservative values that have actually nurtured my desire for public service and has also uh, allowed me to understand the importance of how to govern. I'm a fourth generation Calgarian who believes in the principles of individual responsibility, free enterprise, sound fiscal management, self-reliance, respect for property rights, and a role for government in the delivery of an efficient health care system. The party also believes in the excellence of education and the hand up for those in need. I'd like to express my gratitude to the three previous premiers, uh, Peter Lahey, Don Getty, and Ralph Klein, for their service to our party and our province, and they have made it each in their own way a better place to live. Our current leader, Premier Ed Stelmack, is truly a decent, hardworking individual, and he has made a commitment to bettering the lives of the disadvantaged people, and this is well known to the people in the party and the province. I took out my first membership in this party in 1971. I've worked on ministerial, ministerial staff, been a volunteer for many years. I served the people of Alberta both as an MLA for the constituency of Calgary Montrose and I served in the Legislative Assembly and as a cabinet minister. Calgary Montrose uh, is really where my political roots began. It's a writing that is incredibly rich in ethnic diversity, where hard-working people have chosen that part of the city, this city and this province to live, work and raise a family of anywhere else in the world, they had a choice. And these people have really enriched the lives of, uh, of, of Alberta. In 1993, when I left government, I left government. I never imagined coming back. I never sought or received government contracts or government appointments. I believed that elected office is a service. It should not be a lifelong career. Our family is in agreement with my decision to do this, and it is a right thing for us, and it's a right thing for Alberta. Because we are among the growing number of loyal party members who are worried about the obvious disconnect between how our party is governing and the tried, uh, how our party, the disconnect between how our party is governing and the tried and true principles that have served both the party and the province so successfully for four decades. I can say without hesitating that these conservative principles are right for Alberta. I'm running for the leadership because I believe we have abandoned our principles in some important ways. Our, our campaign is about staying faithful to them, standing up and defending them, 
and consistently applying them. Our core principles define who we are as Albertans, and they distinguish us from the other political parties that will oppose us in the next election, whether on the left or on the right. There are some of us that are in denial in this party. The fact is our party is threatened. At no time in the party's history has it faced such a serious challenge from another political party on the right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a call to action. It's time for Albertans who believe in our party to act. The party has enjoyed the trust and confidence of Albertans because it has the good sense to recognize when it is straight. However, we have always had the courage to admit we were wrong and we've returned to what we believed in. Sound fiscal management, free enterprise economy, quality health care, strong economy, lifelong learning, and environmental stewardship in a very, very responsible way. If elected leader, health care will be a top priority. Government spends approaching 50% of all of its income on health care. This province takes in $34 billion a year in revenue. Close to 50% is on health care. That is an unsustainable model. Albertans expect and deserve better results for the money that is being spent at the very least. I simply do not understand why our province is spending more per capita than most other, other provinces in this country and our outcomes tell a different story. Like most Albertans, and I'm sure everybody in this room, we want to know why and we deserve to know why. Then there are the perplexing organizational questions about health care and the associated costs moving from model to model to model. Like many Albertans, I'm frankly shocked by the serious allegations about intimidation and wrongdoing in our health care system. It's ridiculous to think that Albertans should trust this government and have confidence in their health care as long as there are lingering doubts about what is true or not true about these allegations. It is absolutely essential that we get to the bottom of this. Now, I will first allow the Health Quality Council to complete its work. I think that's the right thing to do and it's reasonable because they've already begun their investigation and it's underway. However, I will not hesitate to initiate, initiate an inquiry if there is credible evidence to suggest that further investigation is needed. Any proven incidents of improper or illegal activities will dealt, be dealt with swiftly. The second priority is education. Our, poly, our party has always recognized that quality education and training is an essential investment for our future prosperity and has strongly endorsed the principle of lifelong learning. Additionally, our commitment is to the rule of law and to keeping people and communities safe is what Albertans expect from their government. We must ensure that men and women who put, up, put uh, their own safety on the line, protecting society from criminals, must be given the respect they deserve and the tools they need to do their job. If elected party leader, the government of IE will immediately repeal Bill 36, the Alberta Land Use <laughs> This legislation is unacceptable. When it is all said and done, it allows the cabinet to tear up forest management agreements, oil sands leases, oil and gas leases, grazing leases, and it allows to sterilize productive land. I fear it is confiscation without compensation. If implemented, the effect on resource companies and ranchers and cattlemen, outdoor recreationalists and others will be devastating. The resources that will be sterilized by this legisl legislation belong to the people of Alberta, not to the cabinet 
and the bureaucrats who supported it. And they do not even know the cost of this. When I told my mother I was thinking about running for the leadership, she emailed me and asked one simple question. If you were elected, how will our province be better? My response to her and to you is that Alberta will again be guided by conservative principles that honor and respect our political roots. Not guided by expediency or by an effort to please special interest groups or by forces outside the province that want to see Alberta weaken. I'm a proud Albertan who makes no apologies for the bountiful resources we are blessed with. In my travels, I talk about our province, its people, its agricultural products, its natural resources, and the beauty of our various landscapes. People are in awe, and rightfully so. We were also admired for being reliable and predictable a good place to invest, a place where the government lived up to its commitments. For some reason, that's changed. Politics and decisions not seem to routinely produce unintended consequences. As Premier, I will vigorously defend Alberta's equal partnership and confederation. With great pride, I will promote our province, its people, and their many accomplishments. I will defend our ownership and our rights to manage our superb natural resources. And we will manage our resources in a manner that gives the fullest expression to our principle of sound environmental stewardship. In this regard, my record speaks for itself. In closing, I would like to simply say that as your Premier, I will work tirelessly to ensure our party remains true to its conserv conservative principles and unifies conservatives in all regions of the province, including those who have drifted away or have been telling us the party has left them. I would also like to, at this time, express my sincerest gratitude to my campaign team, their support, and their very, their very gracious offer to uh, to follow through on, our, on the promises we're making here today. I'm very fortunate to have so many exceptional men and women of all ages in all parts of the province on the Oregon team. And in keeping with our party's principle of an open party accessible to all, I extend an invitation to all Albertans to join us and get involved in this important work of moving forward and moving our party back to its principles. Thank you very much for being here.